Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today, burgers are on the menu. I'm doing my version of a jerk burger. I call it the Big Mon. 80-20 ground beef, grilled to perfection, topped with the jerk sauce. Also grilling some pineapple that I'm gonna dice up, make a pineapple relish for it with the spicy Calypso mayo sauce. You know, it's gonna be delicious. Let's get to cooking. So I've got about two pounds of 80-20 certified Angus beef ground chuck that we're gonna make these burgers with today. I'm gonna just divide it up by hand and I've got a burger press that I'm gonna actually form the patties with. I mean, I'm just making a big burger. These are gonna be probably a little bit over half a pound. To me, a Big Mon burger has to have a big patty. Now I'm using a burger press. If you wanted to patty this out by hand, you could. I've got it guided at about a half pound and I found it real easy that if you'll take a Ziploc bag, split it down the sides, you can keep your burger press clean. So I'm just gonna take our patty. I'll turn it to where you can see it here. Put it right inside, put the plastic over it, kind of center it up a little bit. Now we're gonna close it and just mash it down. Perfect patty right there. That looks like a half pounder to me. I can get down on that. Now I've got five extra thick hamburger patties. I'm gonna stick them in the refrigerator for just a little bit while we get the grill fired up and I grill the pineapples. That lets them firm up. We'll season them right before they hit the grill and then having them a little cool will just help them cook even all the way across. Now to go along with our burgers, I'm also grilling some pineapple today to make a tropical relish. I've mixed some dark brown sugar with a little bit of the jam and jerk to kind of make a spicy seasoning. And we're gonna coat the outside of these pineapple spears. And I'm just gonna let the pineapples hang out here. Let that sugar dissolve. I'm gonna fire up my PK360. So I've got some Royal Oak briquettes that I'm putting in a charcoal chimney and using one of the Royal Oak tumbleweeds to get the coals good and hot. As soon as they're ready to go, about 15, 20 minutes, just dumping them out in the bottom of my PK360, getting my grate in place. I've got a set of grill grates on it. We're gonna close the lid and open up the vents 100% so I can get some air drafting through. That's what's gonna heat this grill up. We'll be ready to cook in just a few minutes. So the PK is good and hot, and I also place my cook more grid right on top of the grill grate because I'm not really wanting to sear the pineapple spears. I want them just to kind of get some color on them, get them softened up, but you can see that sugar is kind of melted in, coated to the outside of these pineapple spears. It's going to give it some good flavor. Let's close the lid. Five, ten minutes, we'll come back and look at them, flip them around. We're just cooking those pineapples soft. We're not trying to char them. So the pineapple's been on about 20 minutes. I flipped them halfway through. You can see they've kind of caramelized up. That's exactly what I want them to do. They're gonna be soft, they're gonna be sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and grab them off and we're gonna go to the cutting board. I'm gonna put the relish together real quick before we put the burgers on the grill. So I took the pineapple spears and sliced them and just chopped them up fine. Added some white onion, some orange, and some red bell pepper. Seasoned it with a little bit of salt, pepper, a dash of cayenne. Hit it with a little cilantro and a little parsley. That's it. And I'm just stirring it up so everything's combined. We're gonna let these flavors hang out, kind of meld together. That's what I call a tropical relish. Looks good enough to eat with chips right there. Now before I put the burgers on the grill, I'm gonna get some seasoning on them. First, they're getting a little salt, pepper, garlic, my AP rub. You could use just regular salt, pepper if you wanted to. But then, to make them jerk, I'm using my jam and jerk seasoning. This has got all those flavors, traditional jerk spices in it. It's gonna really make these burgers pop. I'll give them a good dose of the jerk seasoning. Pat it in a little bit. The burgers are good and cold. They've been in the fridge. So they kind of hold together now. You don't have to worry about them breaking apart. A little bit of AP. A little bit of the jam and jerk line. Got to have that jerk flavor. So the PK is still good and hot. I've taken that cook more grid off because now we're gonna be searing them right on these grill grates. And you'll notice I put a little thumb impression in each one of these burgers. That's gonna help them from swelling up into a meatball. I like to do that when I'm cooking burgers. We're just gonna start out right on the rack. Let them get to sizzling. They're gonna need four or five minutes each side. We're gonna cook them till they're about medium internal. That's where I like to eat my burgers. I'll flip them as needed, move them around. I'll show you that as we cook them. So burgers have been cooking about three minutes. I'm gonna give them just a little twist here. Get us some grill marks on them. You don't have to do this. It's really just for presentation. Let's go back over here with you. But it just kind of moves them around. Let them cook evenly in the different zones of the grill. I'm not mashing them or anything, just turning them. So another three minutes on that side. So these burgers have been grilling for about six minutes. We'll flip one over so it looks like. Let's start with this one here on the right side. Got some grill marks on him. Cooking perfect, it's not sticking because it grills just the right temperature. These are beautiful burgers. We'll get our timer going, do the same thing. All right, we're gonna give these burgers a twist. 
And then we're going to start glazing. Smells better than the home of the Whopper. Now, I'll put together just a quick jerk sauce, and it's just real easy to make. You could buy one if you wanted to. I just got it in a squeeze bottle. We'll squeeze a little bit on each burger. We've got about three more minutes left to cook them. I want to get this sauce rolling on the outside. Get our timer back going. All right, our jerk burgers are looking done to me. I'm gonna get them off, get them on a platter here. But these burgers look fantastic. I mean, check that out. The sauce kind of caramelizes on the outside of the burger. It's cooked just perfect. Well, I like it anyway. It's time to build a burger. So we got the burgers off the grill and I could eat one of them just like this. Jerk burger steak, doesn't that sound good? But I've got all the makings here for this Big Mon burger. I'm gonna show you how we put it together. Now I'm just using a sesame seed bun. You could use whatever you want. The first thing going on it is what I call a calypso sauce. And it's really just a kicked up mayo. Mayo, ketchup, some scotch bonnet pepper sauce. And that's what that looks like. I get it from the international aisle at Kroger. You can probably find it in your grocery store or find it online. But it all goes in this mayo with a little bit of seasoning, salt, pepper, and a little cayenne. So it's kind of spicy. And you can tone that back if you want. We gotta have some greenery, some vegetables on it. It's just iceberg lettuce. Put a nice piece of tomato. So it's fresh summer tomatoes. And some pickle. That's pretty traditional, right? Well, now we're ready for one of our burgers. And let me get this big one out right here, sitting right up on top. Now we've got to put a little bit more of our jerk sauce that we glazed with. And this just because I like it, extra jerky. How about that? Come back with our tropical relish, those grilled pineapples, the sweet peppers, the onion going right on top. Top of the bun's going to get just a little bit more calypso. And that's what I call the Big Mon Jerk Burger right there. I'm gonna make another one for you because I'm gonna try one, but I gotta build two, right? Calypso sauce, a little bit of lettuce, some tomato, some pickle, another big burger patty, extra jerk drizzle, pineapple, tropical relish. A little bit more Calypso on the top bun. Now, the moment of truth. I'm gonna pick the Big Mon up and go at it. Which side are we coming from? Ooh. Mmm. That burger is fantastic. A little housekeeping there. It's juicy. It's got all that grilled flavor coming through. The pineapple tropical relish really goes with it. Lettuce, tomato, pickle, you know? You gotta have that on the burger. But really the jerk is the star of the show on that ground beef. Mmm, fantastic. All I need is some rum punch, maybe a cold red stripe, some Bob Marley playing in the backgrounds. Hey, if you like jerk flavors, you just like a great hamburger, give this recipe a try. I promise you're going to love it. It's full of fresh flavors and the beef is excellent with that jerk sauce. Thanks for checking us out here on How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Shell and I do a podcast every week where we talk about the recipes we're doing, all the other delicious stuff. So you can check that out too. We'll see y'all next time. Ooh, the big mine. Mmm. That's one of the best burgers I've ever made, Joe. It's delicious.